Hello, I'm Michael Johnson of Copper Common Incorporated. The following 10 minutes is a capsule presentation of this company's history and the groundwork laid for an exciting, profitable future. We just ended a profitable first quarter, 1983. Compracom began in the basement of Michael Johnson's Springfield, Illinois home in 1977. The first product, the MM4 modem multiplier, was sold to Gandalf Data of Wheeling, Illinois for $10,000. Gandalf Data added the MM4 to its short-haul modem offerings. Compracom soon outgrew the basement. Also, while the state capital Springfield offered much expertise, it did not offer electronic manufacturing and engineering expertise. In 1978, Compracom was moved to Champaign, Illinois, into temporary quarters in a converted garage and adjacent home basement. It was there in 1978 that a data test set, the GD101, was built and sold to Illinois Bell, Ohio Bell, AT&T, and others. The first Compracom multiplexer, the Data Express, was developed there too. Sales of $100,000 in 1978 made it necessary to move again. In October of 1978, Compracom moved into 51 East Chester, an 8,000 square foot, three floor facility. There in 1979, Compracom made the first production units of the Data Express 4 and 8 channel multiplexers. 1979, sales reached a half a million dollars. In 1980, sales more than doubled to $1.1 million. Late in 1980, a very large European distribution contract was signed. In early 1981, production and staff expanded to fill the Chester Street facility. The building was at capacity and production volumes were just one half of the levels called for in 1981 sales levels. There was a backlog of orders on the European contracts. To provide adequate facilities, Compracom had built and then leased a new 20,000 square foot facility in the Interstate Research Park in Northwest Champaign. The Research Park facility is new, clean, and ideal for much higher production volumes. In the summer of 1981, Compracom moved into the new facilities, secured SBA financing, and most importantly, began investing profits into Compracom's future by building a top-notch R&D staff, headed by Andrew White. Sales for 1981 topped $2.1 million. 1982 saw the introduction of the Economux series of multiplexers, the Data Express XL series, the DX multiplexer series, and the Bilink multiplexer. Multiplexers represent the majority of Compracom product sales, which totaled $2.6 million in 1982. Additional Compracom products introduced along the way include modem eliminators and the SR500 interface converter. The SR500 is sold primarily to the Burroughs Corporation. Major products continue to be of the multiplexer family and are microprocessor and software based. Compracom's resources for future growth, personnel and profits are based on its ability to understand and respond to market needs. Michael Johnson, president, has over 20 years experience in telecommunications management. He's worked in business and government in every facet of the business. Mr. Johnson was involved in designing and installing over a thousand online graphic terminals when most of the industry still thought of Datacom as a card reader and teletype printer. Dr. Andrew White, Vice President and Director of R&D, is a graduate of the University of Illinois Electrical Engineering Department. Dr. White was employed as a member of the technical staff at Bell Labs in Homedale, New Jersey. He worked in many areas of both voice and data communications and developed several patented communications techniques. Above all, Dr. White brings both R&D and management skills together to build the critical R&D team. Richard Hunt, Director of Operations, holds a degree in Business Administration from the University of Illinois. Prior to joining Compracom, Mr. Hunt was responsible for both production and development at Hunt Control Systems. At Compracom, he worked as design engineer before his promotion to Director of Operations. Ronald Sockel, Director of Marketing, was Sales Coordinator and National Sales Manager before assuming the Director of Marketing position. 
Mr. Sockel has 25 years of experience in management, in data communications and data processing to add to his sales and marketing experience. In finance, controller Dale Highgold is at work automating the financial reporting and accounting systems. Ms. Highgold completed her preparation for the CPA exam at the University of Illinois and has experience in tax preparation, public accounting, and in corporate accounting. Compracom's physical resources include its new 20,000 square foot production facility. This plant capacity will support at least $10 million in sales. The output of the R&D team includes at least six new products in 1983, two of which are already introduced, and more than a dozen for 1984. The results of the R&D efforts of 1981 and 1982 are now gaining substantial momentum. Despite the severe 1982 recession, Compracom spent 14% of its revenue in R&D. A significant sales surge is evident in 1983. The first quarter of 1983 was profitable at a $750,000 sales level. Additional backlog of $2.6 million through May 1983 brings the 99% sure sales tally at this early date to over $3 million. The 1983 sales projection of $4.8 million is firmly supported. Compracom markets its products through overseas distributors, independent sales representatives, U.S. distributors, and company direct sales. The foreign sales are on a strong upward trend after a declining 1982 performance. The value of the U.S. dollar surged in mid-1981. By late 1981, Compracom's European distributors suffered significant sales declines due to the sudden increase in cost of foreign currency for Compracom multiplexers. Foreign sales deferrals totaled $300,000 in the last quarter of 1981 and $600,000 in 1982. These sales deferrals came just after Compracom moved into their new facilities. Production staff was cut in January 1982 and sales efforts and advertising in the U.S. marketplace were increased, resulting in domestic sales growth of 240% from $700,000 in 1981 to $1.7 million in 1982. U.S. sales were nearly half a million dollars for just the first quarter of 1983. In the U.S. marketplace, Compracom representatives and distributors are managed from Champaign. Each representative covers a certain geographic territory. The reps, as they're called, work on commissions only and sell primarily to Compracom's larger end-user accounts on sales of several thousand dollars or more. For the lower cost products, distributors handle the smaller quantity and dollar value sales from their stocks. Compracom direct sales are primarily to large OEM customers requiring customized hardware or software. A recently signed $800,000 contract for Q4 and 8-channel multiplexers provides just one example of OEM sales. The most recent market forecasts predict multiplexer sales to increase at a rate of $100 million a year for the remainder of the decade. Compracom's future product mix will include two four and eight channel multiplexers selling in the one to three thousand dollar range, 16 to 32 channel multiplexers at three to ten thousand dollars each, switched network products such as the Bilink in the $500 to $1,000 range. Auxiliary products for the small and large multiplexer products just mentioned, such as a $2 to $5,000 soft switch. OEM specials with some custom hardware or software. The management, products, and marketing resources will make Compracom a $5 million company for 1983. Over 60% has already been sold or is on the scheduled order backlog. 1984 revenues are projected at 7.4 million. 1985 at 10.8 million. 1986 at 16.2 million. 1987 at 24.3 million. With 20% net income before taxes for 1984 through 1987. The base for the future is in place. Management, marketing and sales, plant facilities, products, and research and development.